you won at half, 16-2, final score. You guys obviously didn't have a problem with your offense today. What else was going on that was encouraging for you guys moving forward? Um, I think obviously we've been spending a lot of time after the Big West and even before bit going into Big West working on counterattack and just um, focusing on really getting down, getting our offense set up and um, after playing the solid defensive possession. So I think it's, uh, it's good to work on that, especially um, getting ready for Stanford on Friday. And um, I think there's still opportunities to slow down the offense and work for each other, but it was a good start. Um, I think Allie pretty much covered it. Just like there was a lot of communication out there, and I think that's key to any good win. Um, I don't know if you have anything on. Yeah, another question. <laughs> Coach, are you with the end, you know, patience, slow the ball down. It looked like you guys were spreading it out more. When, it, when you have a score like that, is that, like, from a coaching standpoint, what are you trying to work on? Just the fundamentals? Uh, I'm always thinking about practice, and we had a lot of young players in the pool at that time. And when you have a lead in sport, you want to preserve that lead. You, you, you don't want to stop playing, but you want to play more intelligently, decide um, when it's the best time to shoot the ball, use a lot of clock so that game is ticking away, and not give the other team more opportunities. So although the result was skewed in this one at the time we're doing that, there'll be opportunities where maybe you're up by three, maybe you're up by four, where you need to kind of have the same tactics. And so I think it's, it's just really good practice for our young players in a situation like that. And does having that sort of practice in this game coming right before what's going to be a pretty big matchup, is that gonna, how valuable is that going to be really? Every competitive opportunity is important for us. I, I don't think it matters. I mean, there's a thousand different things we can work on in multiple different situations uh, out there playing. We got a lot of five-man experience today. Um, we got a good amount of, of extra-man experience today. Uh, as Ali said, we had some counterattack opportunities. So we, we had opportunities to work on everything out there. Pomona fights. Um, obviously, they probably haven't played the caliber games that we've played over the course of the last month, which I think maybe made us a little more battle ready. But they fight. And I think um, that really helped us to improve ourselves. And it made this game high quality and worthwhile and something that's preparing us for our next step. Girls, Stanford, defending national champs. I believe a team that you guys have never been in the program history. True. What's it going to take for you guys to pull up the upset this one? Um, I think every time we've won this season, we, I've noticed that um, our communication has been at an all-time high. Um, we've just never given up in the moments where we have won. I think we just, no matter what the score is, we need to remember that we're representing the people that have played at UCI and we're representing the future people that are going to play for UCI. And I don't know about Ali, but I know that like we worked really, really hard this season, and like you know, we have nothing to lose. You know, we've just played the play-in game. We it's like one day at a time, you know. So I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah, uh, I agree. I think you know Tara's making a point that effort is going to be huge. And in the Big West tournament, we had effort and we were working together. And like she said, communication was key. And I think if we go out there and and just every minute you know, work in that moment and not worry about what's next until we get there and keep fighting and not let each other get down and keep the energy high, especially on the bench. Um, that'll be key. And you guys are in a competitive conference, you know, coming down to that Big West title game. Like, that was yeah. huge for you and your season essentially could have almost been over right then and there, right? So how just being in this seat today, knowing that now looking forward, you're an underdog, like how much is that just going to propel you forward? Like you have nothing to lose. Yeah, I mean, I know if you look at our our rankings, we're now 15 and 13, and and those 13 losses all come from you know top 10 teams. So we play a really competitive uh, schedule in the early you know um, few months of our season, and that's honestly prepared us really well for what's to come. And I think we're all ready for that upset. And uh, I don't think. You know, in my, my last year, my last week here of UCI Women's Water Polo, I'm, I'm ready to make it happen, so. I have something to say about that. I, I think as, a, as an institution, UC Irvine is always fighting for respect. We're fighting for respect academically. We're fighting for respect in our community. We're fighting for respect athletically. And we want to represent that whole mission of our university so that people around the country and around the world know what UCI is. And any time that we are um, 
the, the, the ambassadors for that mission, we want to make sure that we take that very seriously. And um, I, I think that that's what this game is all about. You know, whether we win or, or we lose the game, to me it's about how we champion our university and that we're letting people know um, that we're big time and we're just getting better every single day as a, as a university and that, um, and that people should respect uh, what UC Irvine is. It's nice now you guys have a few days really to prepare for that game. You know, it's not coming tomorrow or in a matter of a few hours. So what's the schedule going to look like now heading into that match? I guess I'll take that one too, since <laughs> since I'm the person who knows it. Uh, uh, realistically, we've kind of been doing the same thing throughout. Uh, they have a calendar, so they already kind of know what it would have looked like if it would have ended today. Obviously, that calendar would have abruptly changed, but you have to prepare all the way through Sunday. So we have a calendar that takes us all the way through the championship game on Sunday. And um, if we don't arrive there, we adjust things. But if we continue to fight through and and we arrive, but it's a it, it then we'll then we'll we'll be there. But it's um it's a program we set forth a long time that they already have an idea from. Um, these ladies like to be really informed far far ahead of uh, time, so I always have to be on top of that and making sure they, they know what's going on. I think, and just looking at the stats from today, you guys have five players with two goals or more. Is that correct? Right? Yes. Um, not to get ahead of ourselves, but just the team as a whole and like looking forward into next season, how valuable are, I mean, granted this game, <laughs> how valuable is is this for your team to look at what you guys are just capable of? I think it's exciting. I mean, obviously we had um, seven seniors this year that all had a, a big impact on the program, but we also had 12 freshmen that played a key role in, in transforming this team. And I think we tried as, our, as seniors to, to share the UCI wisdom of our program and pass down, you know, not only our traditions, but our work ethic and our blue collar mentality. And I think that um, it shows in, in the stats today and in the last um, few months that they're going to have a big impact this, this next couple of years. And I'm excited to be able to come back and watch at least. Yeah, and you just noted that we had like 16 goals, but like when I see 16 goals, I also think there's 16 assists there. There's 16 times where we did something proper, we did something correct, you know? Like I know like Jenna made, I don't know how many saves Jenna had. Seven, and then Morgan came in and had six saves. Like there's so many factors going into those 16 goals. So I just think like, especially for Stanford, it's just like those individual battles. Like, you know, maybe we're going to be on a five man. Can we get that next block or can we get that next, you know, steal or I don't know, 